This is the last part of the All Different Stormtrooper Types and Variants series. If you missed parts 1, 2, and 3, a link to them will be in the description of this video. First is the Imperial Commando Special Unit. This unit was comprised of clones and was one of the most elite units in the Imperial military. They were mainly used for hunting down surviving Jedi and clone deserters. Their armor provided far better protection than regular Stormtrooper armor, including special features like deflector shields. They were usually equipped with a DC-17M rifle. Second are the Storm Commandos, also known as Imperial Commandos, or Shadow Scouts. Storm Commandos were tasked to instigate uprisings on enemy systems and to subdue insurrections on Imperial-held worlds. They relied on stealth over brute force during their operations. Their armor was based on the scout trooper's light armor and was usually black. They carried a cloaking device that allowed them to turn invisible. They sometimes wore shock trooper armor when protection was valued over mobility. They were usually equipped with an E-11 blaster and used flamethrowers if the situation required it. Third are the Imperial Navy Commandos. They were lightly armored soldiers and were trained for patrol, guard, and monitor duties. Their armor was sort of like a combination of regular stormtrooper armor, snowtrooper armor, and scout trooper armor. Their primary weapon was the E-11 blaster rifle. Fourth are their Imperial Marines. They were primarily stationed on Imperial naval warships and star destroyers. They utilized cutting lasers and explosive charges to breach enemy vessels and were generally the first to board on captured starships. Their primary weapon included an E-11 blaster rifle and a Minimag PTL missile launcher. Fifth are the Heavy Stormtroopers, also known as Heavy Weapon Stormtroopers. They wore slightly better armor than the regular Stormtroopers and were armed with rapid fire blasters. The weight of their armor and the blaster limited their mobility. Sixth are the Imperial Heavy Troopers, not to be confused with the Heavy Stormtroopers previously. These soldiers were large warriors that were trained for melee combat. They were highly trained and were capable of killing even a force user at close combat. Their armor provided limited protection from lightsabers, and their weapon of choice was an electrostaff. Seventh are the Field Stormtroopers, also known as Field Troopers. They were higher ranking stormtroopers with superior field experience and weaponry. They were recognizable by their multicolored pauldrons, which related to what their expertise was. Orange pauldrons were equipped with an E-11 blaster rifle. Yellow pauldrons were equipped with rail detonators. And red pauldrons were equipped with an Imperial repeater rifle. Eighth are the Stormtrooper Commanders. They were regarded as the Empire's best soldiers and had command over most of the other soldiers, even Shadow Troopers. They wore upgraded armor that had blue markings, and they were equipped with blaster cannons. Ninth are the Armored Stormtroopers. They were distinguishable by their heavy armor, orange shoulder pads, and red monocle-like device on their right eye. They were also known to utilize heavy weapons. Tenth are the Clone Stormtroopers. They were Jango Fett clones from the Clone Wars who became the very first Stormtroopers. Although they possessed the same armor and weapons as regular human Stormtroopers, they typically performed better than them due to their superior training and vast experience from the Clone Wars. They would slowly be replaced by regular human stormtroopers and would end up being a small minority in the Imperial military in later years of the Galactic Empire. Eleventh are the Imperial Coruscant Guards. They had similar duties to the previous Republic Coruscant Guards, which included protecting the government buildings and policing the Senate District. They wore distinctive crimson red heavy armor that protected them from a majority of weapons they expected to encounter. Their helmets also allowed them to see in complete darkness. Twelfth are the Storm Snipers, also known as Stormtrooper Snipers. They specialized in the use of long-range weapons, especially snipers. They wore a blue pauldron and sometimes had a black bandolier strapped across their chest plate. Thirteenth are the Sniper Troopers, not to be confused with the Storm Snipers seen previously. Sniper Troopers were trained to effectively use the E-11S sniper rifle and wore gray scout trooper armor. Fourteenth are the crowd control stormtroopers. They specialized in suppressing crowds and crushing uprisings. Their crowd control equipment allowed them to easily fend off large crowds. They were also equipped with a thruster pack, which mounted a heavy blaster module, a capture claw, and a supercharged taser. Fifteenth are the death troopers. 
These troopers were undead stormtroopers accidentally created by an imperial biological weapon codenamed Blackwing. They possessed only primitive feral instincts but were able to communicate and learn from one another through what seemed like unintelligible screeching. Despite being zombies, they were still able to use weapons and perform tasks they possessed before they turned into zombies. Last for part 4 are the Guardsmen Stormtroopers, also known as the Emperor's Royal Guard wearing Stormtrooper armor. They were used for field operations that required special combat armor. This armor was vastly better than regular Stormtrooper armor. Because they were part of the Royal Guard, these soldiers had excellent training in combat. Thanks for watching the last part of this series. We will be doing a similar series for clone troopers and other Star Wars factions, as well as go over other Imperial branches like the Imperial Navy branch. I hope you guys enjoyed this series, and let us know in the comments what other factions you want us to do similar series on. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.